We now move to Salisbury in August 1964, where bullied Light Pacific 34015 Exmouth backs down, ready to take out a westbound service. Withdrawal of unrebuilt Pacifics had begun the previous year, and even the rebuilt versions were now starting to go, though Exmouth had nearly three years of life left to run. All the bullied Pacifics were famous for slipping starts, and Exmouth is no exception. Southern Railway name board stands at another platform, as does a typical LSWR starting signal. At the motive power depot, which had the code 70E, lines of withdrawn engines make a sad sight in this scene filmed in 1967, at the end of Southern Steam. Note the large concentration of BR standards and rebuilt bully Pacifics, which were deliberately styled to resemble them as a matter of corporate policy. Happier days back in 1964 at Wilton, just west of Salisbury, with 34086 219 Squadron. Between Wilton and Gillingham, with the Merchant Navy Pacific. This splendid main line was downgraded and largely singled west of Salisbury in 1966-67. Several of the small stations on this line, such as Semley, had their dock sidings, which, until well into the 60s, were used for milk tank traffic, cleared every evening by a London-bound service. Gillingham was a rather larger station, where several expresses stopped. The station lies in a dip on the switchback line, and trains in either direction face an uphill start demanding careful handling of the slip-prone bullied Pacifics. Chard enters on a westbound service. Yeovil Junction in August 1960, with tin plate Southern Target signs still intact. A westbound service crosses over the Great Western Line to Weymouth and prepares to enter the junction station. The train carrying the photographer is approaching the junction over a spur from the Great Western. This spur lost its passenger service in 1968. The fireman on Merchant Navy 35004 brings down coal ready for the onward journey. In wet conditions like this, the driver will be even more alert than usual to control slipping. Four O Five O Royal Observer Corps detaches after arrival from Waterloo and runs light to shed. The onward journey will be made behind a Mansell S15 class 460 30831.